However, a couple of events of seismic proportions occurred in Los Angeles and New York only last week, with the premiere of The Peacemaker, the first feature film from DreamWorks, also known as Egos Are Us, the studio established by Steven Spielberg, David Geffen and Jeffrey Katzenberg, who between them command considerably more respect and awe from those pitching movie deals than any mere volcano. The film stars George Clooney and Nicole Kidman, and Tom Brook was there to report for us. The premieres for The Peacemaker were elaborate public relations exercises to promote not just another action thriller, but Hollywood's first new studio in more than 50 years. It is. It's very exciting. Our first movie, and that's only going to happen once. The New York premiere was somewhat overshadowed by George Clooney's sour relationship with the paparazzi. His provoked a boycott from some photographers angered by his criticism of them. They boycotted me. They didn't take a picture. That's good, though. You know, maybe they will, they'll, they'll stop hiding in uh, people's trees a little bit, too. I wish they'd boycott me all the way. Environmental groups disgruntled by the sighting of a new DreamWorks facility on wetlands staged a protest at the Los Angeles premiere. Jeffrey Katzenberg and David Geffen made it to the opening night there, but Steven Spielberg did not. In The Peacemaker, vehicles get wrecked. Spielberg escaped unharmed when a similar fate occurred to the car bringing him to the premiere. In the film, George Clooney plays an army intelligence officer, and Nicole Kidman a nuclear scientist physically demanding roles for both actors whose characters are trying to stop a terrorist from setting off a nuclear device in New York. I have to be honest, I didn't do all my own stunts. I wish I could say that I did. Um, but, you know, we, di we did a lot of stuff where, where there was explosions going off and we were running. It was great that I had George. He was very protective. It was easier to do than Batman because I didn't have to wear a 120-pound rubber suit. So physically it was... Uh, in some ways different, in some ways not. Uh, you know, but, I, I, but physically was the main challenge, you know. Did you feel it was important to be working for DreamWorks, to be making a DreamWorks film? I just took a great job when they offered it to me, and you can't really sit around thinking about... Uh, uh, if you think about the pressure of doing the first film for the first studio to open in 50 years, then you'll never take a job. So you just take the good job and don't worry about it, you know. The Peacemaker is not just the first feature from a new studio, but one of the few action films to be directed by a woman. It was a very difficult shoot. It was a very uh, wonderful shoot. It was a very, you know, shooting in Eastern Europe was uh, not like shooting at a studio in, in Los Angeles. You don't have the same toys you have at home. But, you know, we worked with a Croatian, Slovakian, British, German, Russian crew, and it was fascinating. Early reviews of The Peacemaker have been cautious. The trade paper Variety has described the film as a grim action thriller. Other critics have also been somewhat reserved, judging the picture as competent and conventional. Not the most desirable accolades for the first movie from a new Hollywood studio. George Clooney thinks that critics have invoked unrealistically high standards in writing their reviews. I saw one that said, uh, yeah, sure, it's, uh, it's intense and it's nail-biting, but uh, so are a lot of films, but we expected more from DreamWorks. And you go, wow, it's a successful studio. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know. It, it, I, I think that there's a lot expected from DreamWorks. There should be. These guys are about as good and talented as, as you can find. So, uh, so they raise the stakes a little bit. The Peacemaker will be followed up by two other films from DreamWorks before the end of the year. Since its inception three years ago, DreamWorks has been surrounded by hype and raised expectations. Even with one film now out of the gate, many in Hollywood say there's still too much dream and not enough work. Well, The Peacemaker opens here on October the 24th.